Hey, what's up? It's been over four months now that I got my Helix pierced and I figured it's time for an update video. Now I did share my piercing experience on my channel that I'm gonna link down below. So if you're curious, then please check out the video that I filmed back in July. As for today's video, I'm really just gonna briefly talk you through how the healing is coming along. Now cartilage piercings can take anything from a year to a year and a half to heal and given that it's just been a little over four months i'm not even halfway through the healing process i do expect for it to take a year because my conch piercing took roughly a year to heal and so i expect my helix piercing to heal also within roughly a year now if you're familiar with my cleaning routine then you know that i don't ever touch my piercings, especially not when cleaning them. I literally just rinse in the shower. I've made a separate video that you can check out that I'm gonna link down below. I don't ever touch it and because it's still healing, I'm of course also not gonna touch it in this video. I'm just gonna move a little closer so that you can see it. So this is my Helix piercing. As you can see, it's been pierced with a pretty plain implant grade titanium barbell. I'm gonna move away. It's looking pretty nice and it also feels pretty good. I haven't had any major complications except for one. And this is actually a funny story that I'm gonna briefly share with you. I believe it was in Taiwan. I was in Taipei and I noticed that my piercing was all of a sudden itchy, very itchy. So the area around it was very itchy. And then I looked at it and realized that it was very, very swollen. It swelled up so much that the back of my passing was almost disappearing. Well, when I say almost, I'm exaggerating really. However, a big portion of the ball on the back was actually digging into my skin. It wasn't even this swollen after I got it pierced. I was pretty alarmed. And then I realized the cause of it. I got bitten by something. And as a result of getting bitten, my ear swelled up. And I just happened to get bitten really close to where my helix piercing is. I think it took a week, maybe a week and a half, for the swelling to go down. And it was pretty damn painful. I thought I'm gonna lose my piercing because my ear was so incredibly swollen. After a week and a half, the swelling went down and I had no complications whatsoever with my piercing after that. I'm very, very glad that the swelling went down as fast as it did because I think if it would have been swollen for much longer, then I would have definitely needed to go and see a piercer and would have needed to change it to a longer bar, which where I was at the time would have been extremely difficult because I looked for reputable piercers and I wasn't able to find it anyone. Anyway, that was that. That was the only time during healing so far where I was seriously concerned. Now sometimes when I shower, meaning when I wash my hair and I only do that every five days, sometimes I accidentally touch it, then it's usually a little sore for an hour maybe and then it's usually over. So aside from getting bitten by who knows what, and occasionally bumping into it while I shower, I've had no complications whatsoever. It's healing beautifully and I'm hoping that it's gonna heal within a year. As far as jewelry is concerned, as I said earlier, it's a plain implant crate titanium barbell. I do like the look of rings, however, as of right now, I'm totally gonna stick with this one and I'm definitely gonna wear it until it's fully healed and probably beyond because I just like the plain look of a barbell. As I said, I'm pretty surprised how smoothly it's healing and I'm definitely thinking of getting another one on this ear or perhaps on this ear, not anytime soon though, because I want for my current piercings to be somewhat healed until I get another cartilage piercing. Are you thinking of getting a helix piercing if yes i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments if you have a helix piercing then please do share bits and bobs of the healing process with others i think it's going to help people out hugely 
I do talk a lot about piercings on this channel and have made a separate piercings playlist that I'm going to link down below. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Bye!